We're here with a Tom Bishop's Quota Cougar and his triathlon race gear ahead of the ITU Grand Final in Rotterdam. And it's a rather wet and windy Rotterdam, so we've had to duck inside, but it'd be really interesting to see if he's made any changes because of the conditions. So the Cougar is an aero bike, so it's got a few aero touches. You've got the brakes hidden behind the forks and under the bottom bracket. And then we've got a hidden seat clamp bolt. So looking at Tom's wheel set choice, he is using the Mavic Cosmic Pro SL wheels, which have a 40 mil rim depth. And to go with those, he is using the Continental GP Supersonic tires. And interestingly, he is using just a 23 mil tire width. And because of the conditions out here and the technical course, he is running just 70 PSI on the front and 80 on the rear. He's using the Shimano Durace 9100 11 speed group set, which is mechanical. And talking to Tom, he prefers to use mechanical rather than electronic, just because he doesn't always travel with a mechanic. So if he has any issues or he wants to make any changes, he can quite easily do that with the mechanical system. He's running the Rotor 3D crank sets with a 165 crank length. And on the end of those, he has got the speed play pedals. And on his Rotor crank set, he has the No Q Rotor chain rings with 5338 on the front and on the back he's using an Ultegra cassette 1125 and connecting the two he is using the gold KMC chain. So we've got the Quota Aero seat post and on top of that we have the San Marco Concour saddle which is actually got set quite far forward a nice aggressive position and interestingly underneath he has a gel stored here and talking to Tom, he actually stores one under the saddle and then one at the front of the bike. But that's a really cool storage place, I like it. On the front end of the bike, we've got the Dida 0100 stem, which is the 110 mil. And attached to that, we have the Dida 0100 handlebars. And on those, we have the Shimano Durace 9100 mechanical levers. And then we have his Garmin mount, which is at quite a jaunty angle. I thought it was just to be cool, but chatting to Tom, he believes it's more aerodynamic. And now onto his wetsuit, and he's using the Hoob Arius 3.5. And interestingly, a lot of the elites will use a neutral buoyancy wetsuit, but Tom has opted for the 3.5, which means he has more buoyancy in the legs than he has in the top. So he's got five mil neoprene in the bottom and three mil in the chest. So looking at his other race kit, we'll start with his bike shoes. He has the Mavic Cosmic Ultimate tri shoe, and these have a single strap as a lot of tri shoes do these days. And these start from the outside inwards for ease and also so that the strap doesn't get caught in the chain. Now these weigh in at just 240 grams. And they also have a nice big heel loop so that you can get them on and off really easily. Now Tom is running in the Asics Gel Hyper Tri 3 running shoes. Now these weigh in at just 190 grams. It's really cool to see Asics doing a triathlon specific running shoe. So they dry out nice and quickly and also they have a finger loop in the tongue meaning you can get them on quickly in transition. These also have a 6 mil heel to toe drop and they come with some matching elastic laces. So that is Tom Bishop's triathlon race setup. And to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to GTN by clicking on the globe. And to see our draft legal triathlon explainer, just click down here. And to see our video on how to swim around boys fast, just click down here.